All right, guys, my name is Barry. I work here at PATC as one of the builders. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this sleeve that goes on the overrun. Um, what I've done is built it up uh, so far to the forward piston. And it's easier to put this in next before the last piston goes in. And basically, we're just going to press this in. Uh, I've got a tool made. I've got a tool made. It's a uh, it's just an inch and a half piece of tubing that we welded onto a flat plate. Works really good. Just like that. And the next thing will be the overrun piston and then the spring and then the snap ring. I'm uh, gonna talk to you about the three four stack up on the smart in, uh, the smart tech input housing. Um, from the bottom of this drum up to the forward uh, uh, to the forward backing plate is no different than a standard 700 or a 4L60 drum. The only thing that differs is the three four stack up. You got these plates. Um, the bottom plate is the one that's got the steps. It'll go down just like normal. Uh, these frictions, uh, these frictions are 60 to 61 thousandths thick. It will hold nine of them. Uh, you'll have to use seven 78 thousandths choline steels. Well, uh, but, uh... And you'll have to use one steel that's a hundred and six thousand stick to get the thirty thousandths clearance that you need in the stack up. Then your last plate just bolts on. Using these bolts right here, you just bolt down the plate, uh, 50 inch pounds per bolt. Uh, on the 4-3 uh, return springs, uh, you have to change the springs out. Uh, the stock ones are a little bit shorter. Uh, you just basically slide those out and uh, these new longer ones come in the drum. Uh, you just pop those in place and these will go underneath the backing plate. Uh, there's five of them. And that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, you do want to uh, try to uh, get 30 to 33 thousandths uh, stack up uh, clearance on the 3-4 clutches. And uh, after that, you should be good to go.